Hi guys, my name is Meg and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to share with you my favorite lactation cookie recipe. And I am actually still currently pregnant, even though you're probably going to be seeing this after I have the baby, because I am pre-filming a few videos. But today I am working on making some lactation cookies to freeze as little dough balls and keep them in the freezer until I am early postpartum and just starting to breastfeed and then they'll be nice and ready to go to pop into the oven for a quick snack that's gonna really help my milk supply. These cookies are full of really nutritious things and things that are really great for your milk supply like brewer's yeast and oats and flaxseed meal. And so these are gonna be a really, really great snack to just have right by you while you are in the early days of breastfeeding your little newborn. So hopefully this video is helpful for you guys and let's get right into the recipe. So first you're gonna need some butter and I have unsalted here normally I would use salted but we just have unsalted on hand right now so that'll work fine I like to try to use good grass-fed butter sugar this is organic cane sugar brown sugar vanilla extract eggs these are our own farm fresh eggs from our hens right in the backyard brewers yeast powder black seed meal flour I'm actually using a gluten-free flour mix today because I can't have gluten, but you can use just regular all-purpose flour. You can substitute it for pretty much whatever kind of flour you want and they're still gonna turn out pretty well. But I'm just using Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour today and that always turns out really great when I use that. Baking soda, salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt because that's just generally what I use for almost everything. It's just so much higher in minerals and great things than just regular table salt. Oats. And these are some gluten-free oats that I buy from Azure. Whatever of these things I order online, I will link in the description box below because sometimes you might not know where to get something like brewer's yeast powder, so I'll link everything that I can find. And chocolate chips. So normally, when you're making cookies, you would preheat your oven before you start mixing everything up, and if you're going to make them right away, just go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. But today, I'm gonna just make these and get them to the point where I would put them in the oven, but then I'm gonna freeze them. In a large bowl, you're going to add one cup of butter, one cup of sugar, one half cup of brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and two eggs. And you're going to beat those until they're really well combined. And then add five tablespoons of bruised yeast powder, three tablespoons of flaxseed meal. You can kind of play around with those and add more if you need to or add less if you don't really like the taste as much. And then you're going to mix those up as well. Then add two cups of flour. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that if you don't want to use any flour in this, you could just replace these two cups of flour with two cups of oats and just totally skip the flour altogether. One teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt and make sure those are really well mixed up as well. and then add two cups of oats and one cup of chocolate chips and mix those in. And then I'm just gonna make some evenly sized dough balls with these and I'm gonna place them on a sheet and put it in the freezer until they're frozen. Once they're nice and frozen and they're not going to be sticking together when I put them in a big Ziploc bag, I'll put them in the bag. And make sure that it's labeled so that I know what it is and how long they need to be cooked for and at what temperature. So then when you're ready to make these, you just pull them out of the freezer and you put them on a cookie sheet evenly spaced and you cook them at 350 degrees for 11 to 13 minutes. Somewhere in that range is usually perfect. You want them to be lightly browned. So that was just super easy to whip up a nice batch and it, that's gonna be something that you probably aren't gonna feel like doing when you have a newborn, but it's gonna be so nice to have these as a quick, easy snack that's gonna be good for breastfeeding. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.